Hey guys, it's James from LPS Winter Productions here. And you may already know what this video is about by the title, even though I say that way too much. But this is another LPS 11. This is 11 problems of, about, of being a boy. Now, LPS Winter, well, LPS Light, the person behind the camera, is a boy. I know I might not sound like it, but I'm a boy, so deal with it, people. And, you know, so these are problems that I have to face. I was going to make the 10 problems about being a girl, but because I am not a girl, I don't know any problem. I don't really know, so. Yeah, and this is also now an official series, so j just saying. Okay, let's get started. Number one, people expecting you to be tough when it may not be in your nature. <clears throat> Yeah, most boys seem really tough, and most expect all boys to be tough, when some of them, not really. No offense, and I forgot to mention, this video is going to be very stereotypical and generic and everything like that, but you're going to have to put up with it, okay? This, this video is intended for... This video is made for fun and is intended for edu not educational, entertainment purposes only. It's not intended to be hateful or be mean or rude or insult boys if any boy is watching this video. Okay, so yeah, it may not be in their nature because not all boys are always so tough and alley-like. Some are really nice and really cool and it's just people thinking you're tough when you really don't, you really just don't like to be, you like to be the gentle one. It's, and it's okay to be a gentle boy. You don't have to be like the others. I accepted that. Number two. Ha, <laughs> number two. Okay, sorry. Number two, being too to hang out with girls. This is really common for most boys. Some boys like to hang out with girls more than boys. Often get teased. And, you know, that's not really a good thing, obviously. And it's not, it's, they like hanging out with girls. There is no problem with that, okay? You can have friends of any gender. Now, at some point in time, my dad said that I should stop hanging out with girls because my grandma said that maybe it's because they're gonna get all softy, softy. Well, maybe I wanna be softy, softy. I mean, it's my body and my brain and I can do what I want. And no one can tell me who I can and cannot be, or what I can and cannot do. You know that expression? Why don't adults follow that expression? I mean, seriously. And I can hang out with girls if I want to. I prefer girls over boys because girls understand me better. They understand my hobbies better. They understand my personality better. They basically get- and I'm sweating. Ew. Oh, sorry. So, they under- they get me better than boys. They don't get me as well. And boys, it's not much of a friendship, in my opinion. For girls, I feel like I have a natural rela- not a relationship relationship, but I have natural friendship and someone to talk to about anything. And that's basically why I prefer hanging out with girls, and that's why I'm really against people teasing you because you hang out with girls all the time. Okay, sorry, that, that could turn into like some hate, but okay. Number three, being stuck together with boys who are usually stupid morons. The pe the boys I'm around act really stupid. We're just gonna say that. And it is really annoying. And sorry, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm talking about the people at my school slash summer camp, you know. The, and siblings, too. It's just, most of the boys in my life, there aren't really good boy role models anymore besides possibly like celebrities but there aren't many good role models anymore and i really don't i really don't like that i mean boys can really learn a lot from girls girls are strong and powerful and boys just don't really embrace that they well they do embrace it but they embrace it too much it's just why I just really think that's overlooked and that they should just start using their brains a little bit more often and pay attention to things. Because girls can teach boys a lot about respect and manners and kindness and you know. And I'm trying to be insulting to girls either. It's actually like a compliment. Okay, number four, which is a personal one, living with them. You have a younger 
brother or an older brother, it can be really stressful. The older siblings always like in that teenage stage and the younger ones always in that gimme, gimme, gimme stage. So that can be very annoying. Number five, having people think you're stupid because of the boys around you. Sometimes the boys around you, the, the behavior of the boys around you kind of influences how people think about you, and you shouldn't care what people think about you, but it's just annoying to deal with because they assume you're all stupid when you could not be so stupid. It's just really annoying how people always think you're stupid because the boys around you are acting stupid and practically embarrassing themselves in public. They don't care. And I do pre that's something I do admire that boys don't care. They just don't care about embarrassment or anything. They just do what they want to do. In a way, that's something that I wish I could do, but in a way, I just can't do that. I don't like embarrassment. Number six, having losing respect from girls. I think that was incorrect grammar, but who cares? When girls lose your respect, there's not much I can say about this, it just happens. Number seven, boys bullying you for some odd reason. Boys bullying you for some random reason, like if you like a certain thing, like you have a certain hobby. Like, I like My Little Pony from Chippus Magic. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a nice show, it has a nice concept, a nice idea, and it teaches you life lessons that can be really useful in life. And most people judge a book by their cover. Just because it's called My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, does not mean it's always going to be about that. Well, it is about it, but the plot line really can get to you, and it has some really valuable lessons. And that's something else I should probably add to here. So, number seven and a half. Boys always going, like, always judging a book by its cover. Just because something may seem girly does not mean it actually is. And My Little Pony is intended for all genders, just like everything is like intended for all genders, besides bathrooms, of course. But, yeah. So, seven and a half. Boys, you know. But anyway, number eight. Having the gym teacher expect a lot from you, because boys are quote unquote more physically active. Quote, yeah, quote, air quote, sure. But having them expect a lot from you because your older sibling is really athletic, or your younger sibling is more athletic, or because boys are generally more athletic, as the gym teachers always say. When that may not always be the case, I mean, everyone's different. You can't expect them all to be the same like all the others. I personally hate gym and it's the worst class in there. You know, I'd rather go to math class for two hours than go to gym class. I'm serious because I hate math. Number nine, having a father or a father figure, whatever, kind of turning into something you're not. And if I'm being offensive, I don't, I don't really, well, I never mind, forget that. So. How do people try to turn you into something you're not? Trying to make you all tough and buff and ew. Um, making you do stuff you don't want to do. For starters, I don't like how people try to turn you into something you're not. If you're this, you're not that. Like, if you like, if you like girl toys, then there's nothing wrong with that. If you like to hang around girls more than boys, there's nothing wrong with that. Basically, don't try to change your children into something that they're not. Let them be themselves. And if they're going in one direction, a gentle nudge in the right direction would be the best. Not to start off punish them. Don't punish your kids for being themselves. Because they're themselves. I know what some people may be really bad and please be quiet, bugs. But don't punish kids for being themselves. And don't punish them for standing up to you standing up to you, or speaking for what they believe in, or talking back to you. This is the United States of America, it's a free country, and we can say what we want, and we can't get punished for using our own mouths. Um, we were given a mouth for a reason to speak, and to eat, and drink, and breathe, and all that, but we need to speak. So don't punish your kids for saying we, something might be wrong, or correcting you, or just talking back. Mainly because adults kind of provoke kids from talking back and provoke the attitude. It's a human, talking back and stuff are human things. And being angry at them is a human emotion. Deal with it. 
okay? Okay, number 10. Being expected to like video games. I really hate video games, and I can obviously live without them. I just don't like them. I like some of them, but most of them I don't really like. Most boys think that all boys like video games and sports and stuff, but that's just not true, okay? So, I'm gonna write you- I'm gonna go- I'm gonna write you a check. A reality check. I'm sorry, I love using that. And number 11, probably the worst thing of all, the biggest problem is haircuts, which are painful, long, and money wasters and time wasters. I really don't like them. But, anyway, that's all the things for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next episode. Also, I'm not trying to be offensive to any viewers. Okay, bye!